Hello and welcome to how to use the curve tool. Now sometimes you want to get a value that's interpolated between a range of numbers. This is where the curve tool comes in best. To create a new curve, you go to add, go to miscellaneous section and see curve. On here you've got three choices, curve float, curve linear color or curve vector. Each one of these will output a different uh, value based on what it says here. So we'll do curve float, which means it's going to output a float. I'm going to call this one test float curve. In here you can open it up and you get a graph. On the graph you can add new keys by hitting the enter key. And you'll add a new key there. Now you can drag it wherever you want on the graph here. Or you can choose the exact position on the top here. So X and Y respectively. I'm going to set my first point here between 0 and 0. I'm then going to add another point. Go hit enter again. This one I'm going to hit it X of 1 and the Y of 200. Now I'll shoot off like so, which makes it a bit difficult to read, uh, read unless you zoom all the way out. A good way to get around this is if you go over to the left here and change the viewing mode from absolute view mode to normalized view mode. And you get to see the curve in all its glory. So now we can add further more points to this. So the way this works is that when we put this in the blueprints later, we say we put in a value of say 0.5 it will output whatever value is here, which is going to be the value of 100. So you can put in any value in the X coordinate and it output the, ver uh, the value in the Y coordinate. Now for a linear line like this, this may seem a bit useless, but it comes in more handy when you start dealing with curves. So for example, we can turn this into a curve by selecting both points and hitting this one with the A above it. And it gives us automatic tangents. And you get a cubic interpolation, which means you get this sort of curve and easing in and easing out. And you can customize these a bit further, like so. And you've got all other options up here that control how the tangents work at each point. Remember, if you want to add more keys, you can just hit enter. I'll hit enter here. And this one, I'm going to drag over here and hit the in automatic tangents. Now I've got this sort of curve, like so. And so on and so forth. Now to actually use this in a blueprint, you go and create a new actor or whatever actor you're putting it on. And you want to make a variable for the curve. So we're going to go new variable, curve, and it's going to be the type of curve bloat. Hit compile and then choose the default value to be your curve. So test float curve there. And all you have to do to get a value out of it is drag out the curve, get and you do get value. You get float value. And here I just put in whatever value is between 0 and 1 in my case, and it'll output the difference. So 0 0.5 will get us whatever we put in the middle. Now that's the float value uh, curve. There are two others. There's the vector one, and there's the color one. Vector one is pretty straightforward. It's basically the same as the float. It's just with three floats instead. So you've got x, y, and z in here. You can customize each one differently. Like so. Um, and so on and so forth, which is quite useful for doing things like location-based stuff. Alternatively, you've got the color tool, and the color curve does colors. And in here, you can set up the gradient up here of whatever colors you want to use. So here I've got the color on top and the alpha on the bottom. I'm going to customize these by double clicking and choosing the color I wish to use. And so on and so forth. Again, we can customize the value here on our chart. So let's just set that up. So I'm going to use black, uh, blue here. And add more points here by only clicking the field here. Okay, and so on and so forth. Now this is useful if you want to get a color over a certain range. So like for example, a health bar. You want a health bar to change color based on the health. This comes in quite handy for things like that. As well as useful for day and night cycles to change the color of the sky and other lighting features too. In fact, that's what the sky sphere uses here to get the colors it needs. To show that, go into the sky sphere and you can go down and see the color curves here. So this is the horizon color curve or the sky sphere that comes with UE4. And that brings us to the end of curves. 
they have quite a lot of uses and uh, by all means please try them out they're really cool thanks for watching if you want to watch more of my videos head over to patreon.com forward slash ryan ailey where donations of just one dollar will get access to all my video content well before anyone else thank you to all my patrons youtube members and subscribers thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time bye everyone